Dan. Hmm. Should I go stand by her? Uh, no, no. Let her have her time alone. Hey. I think this little guy's having a tough day, too. <laughs> Come here, youngin. Let Grandpa cheer you up, huh? Huh, let's go. Hi. Hey. Hey. Ava, how are you? Come here. It's good to see you. See you you look beautiful, and I'm sorry. Uh, Shane, this is Jeffrey and my daughter, Ava. Ava, this is... Uh, Shane, your stepbrother. Actually, actually um, it's nice to meet you. I wish it was under different circumstances. I just want to, uh, just want to tell you that I think your dad was a really great man. I thought so too. Thank you. Hey, sweetie. Good to see you. How's, how's California? Fine. Good. I should probably say hi to Reva. Okay. It's that picture of him oh, Ava oh you're here honey I'm so glad your daddy loved you so much and he loved you too he was a different man when he found you he was so happy oh I never could have got through the last year without him pop come here you've got to meet someone you got to meet your little brother there <laughs> Look, Colin, this is your big sister, Ava. Pop, you remember Ava, don't you? Oh, I sure do. Wish I were seeing you under better circumstances. Say hi to your big sister. It's absolutely incredible. He looks just like my dad. <laughs> yeah, I know, I think so, too. Oh, my god. That gosh. means you're a very handsome guy. He loves music. Of course. And you should hear his laugh. <laughs> oh, I hope I can. Can I hold him? Yes, of course you can. There you go. Your big sister wants to hold you. Want you want it that way? Oh. Yeah, thank you. Are you okay? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think he likes you. Oh, I think he likes He's you. He's so sweet. Yes. Look, look, Jeffrey. Both your kids are here and they're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> See? Baby brother. That's our daddy. I hope you grow up funny and, and smart and kind just like him. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Where's Colin? Um, Daisy thought it would be best if he weren't here, so she left him. Okay. Yes, and thank you for being so good to my daughter. Well, she's my daughter, too. Jeffrey loved her. I do, too. Is there anything I can do? Oh. Take care of Ava. That's what Jeffrey would want. Ava. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm so sorry about your dad. He was a good man. I can't believe you're going through this. It's okay. Is it? It's the last time things... It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. So, uh... How's life? Life is good. Yeah, it's really good. I like my new job. I miss my mom and Emma and... a few other people. Once in a while. But Springfield really never felt like home for me. San Francisco is? Yeah. And how about you? You're still married to Christina, who I met at Christmas. Yeah. 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 We just kind of got remarried. It's, it's a long story. Oh. Yeah. Well, she seemed very nice, and you seemed happy. So, I'm happy for you. Thank you. If you could take your seats, it's time to begin. On behalf of Reva and Ava, I'd like to welcome you all here, and thank you for coming. 
We are here to celebrate the life of Jeffrey O'Neill. Jeffrey had a few secrets over the years, and I'd like to share one of those with you today. You may or may not know that he loved music. In fact, he was a very talented musician. He tried to keep his artistic life separate from his professional life, but occasionally we would see the door to his office close, and then we would hear the strumming of his guitar. Riva has asked me to share with you one of his songs that he wrote, one of his favorites. An image flies in front of me. Shadow well, here we go. I can't do this. They'll see the guilt on my face. Well, you see the uh, just killed John Doe. Hmm? Sorry, I can't tell. Hey. Hey, Chef. Hey, how are you? How are you? All right. I'm glad you're here. Sorry I'm late. Yeah. This is where you belong. Let's sit down. I believe in love. I think the thoughts and feelings expressed in that song reveal a lot about Jeffrey. Things we may not have known. Jeffrey never talked about himself a lot. But it's clear that all of us came away with a very strong impression of who he was. And that is part of the reason that we're here today. Riva wanted us all to get to know Jeffrey through each other's eyes. She has asked you all to come here today and bring something that reminds you of Jeffrey and place it in the box. And since I'm already up here, I guess I'll start first, if that's okay. <clears throat> Jeffrey and I were often on opposite sides of the courtroom. <sighs> Whether he won or lost, he loved the battle. There was not a more worthy adversary. I will miss him glaring at me from across the courtroom. This is Jeffrey's recipe for his famous chicken O'Neill. <laughs> I think he learned to cook it so that he could impress all the ladies, and it worked because he got me. <laughs> the first case that Jeffrey and I tried together before Jeffrey became my friend, I sort of made decisions because I was supposed to. And Jeffrey was the first person who told me I could become a lawyer just because I wanted to. Mister. I made a, a pretty big mistake recently enough. And um, uh, Jeffrey happened to be the one who, who paid the price. But even after that, he felt like I deserve the second chance, which alone is amazing. But he he wrote letters to uh, the parole board and to the judge before my hearing. For that, I just wanted to thank him, if only if only one last time, and um, say that I honestly wish I could have gotten to know him a little bit better. I didn't think Jeffrey was the right man for my Reba. But he proved me wrong. And he and I. Uh, tossed back quite a few whiskeys before the wedding last year. And then I gave him permission to marry my daughter. I'm grateful he did. I didn't know Jeffrey very well. But I know that he was a good father. And a good lawyer. Like Atticus. I don't think this is a big secret anymore. But it's certainly one of Jeffrey's greatest assets. He was a wonderful father. He loved our little girl Ava so much. And his new little boy. He would carry um, pictures of them in his wallet. He would change them out every month or so. So I'm going to put a picture of Ava in here for you, Jeffrey. And maybe one of Colin.